All right, guys, got the get up on. Got the fresh fade. We're going to Canada. It's time to go do the dang thing. So I'm gonna vlog it and uh, give you guys a little taste of what getting ready for IPF Worlds is like. Well, just got into St. John's and this must be the foggiest place I've ever seen. You couldn't even see, like, I had no idea when we were landing because you pr pretty much had like five feet of visibility. So anyway, I think I read that it's the foggy foggiest place in North America. So I'm gonna go, it's about 9 p.m. here, about 7.30 Tampa time. I'm gonna go get my uh, stuff, get my rental car, and then get to the hotel. So when I say foggy, I mean foggy. It is quite foggy. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> I couldn't even see where we were landing. It was so foggy, wild. So I got in, got some food. Now I'm stepping because I'm pretty far behind today and still got to make weight here in, uh, in a few days. So just uh, nothing too crazy. Just gonna make sure we get the activity in. Got uh, my last not hard training session, but like training session with any intensity on tomorrow. Um, we'll see where my body weight's at and go from there. All right, so day two and got to start getting the, uh, checking the boxes. So just going grocery shopping and seeing what's around here. It actually seems to be relatively well stocked. So should be able to get most of the stuff we need. Um, and I'm just gonna load up so hopefully I don't have to go out the rest of the week and um, be stocked up and ready to get this weight cut. Let's do it. All right, just uh, got the shopping done, did a couple hours of work. Now I'm gonna go get my last like semi heavy training session in, which is just gonna be a uh, long pause bench press and dumbbell presses. And then I'm gonna do some steps uh, to make sure I'm keeping that on point. So um, yeah, not gonna be too bad, It'll be pretty quick, but uh, need to get it in, so let's go. Well, I just finished my training session. Uh, it went actually really, really well. Um, ended up hitting, I think I actually just broke a PR for my long pause bench. So again, you know, that's a, that's a good sign. Also wanted to give a shout out real quick to Reps Fitness right there. Um, good little, little uh, hole in the wall gym, but they've got a great um, power, actually not a hole in the wall gym. They got a great powerlifting area and then they've got some really nice uh, equipment uh, for us. For us old folks who came from like actual gyms in the states that weren't like fitness centers, um, good spot. So they they uh, they took care of me today. Shout out to them. Thank you very much. Um, yeah, getting excited. Ready to go get some food. All right, guys. So um, I guess third day in Canada. Um, slept okay, about seven hours. That's I got some other life justice going on, so that's pretty good for me. Um, and now I just went for like a 20 minute walk and getting breakfast, and so now the, the weight cut begins. So it's a bowl of eggs and turkey this morning, but uh, it'll be good. Body weight will be on point. I like to be a little bit under the day before, like a kilo under. That way I can heat up into the meat and be fully fueled. Uh, and I'm competing in the afternoon, which means I need my body weight on point so I can eat that morning. So, um, yeah, time to get this money. All right, it is my last training session. It's my light session. So literally like 50, like half of my one rep max for triples. So, a little easy day, working on, you know, grooving it, hitting the right spot, and uh, just greasing the groove. That's all we're doing.
Hey guys, we are one day out. In fact, we're about 24 hours out right now. And uh, you may be wondering what I'm doing. This is an electrical stim unit and I'm just putting it in different places where um, I've had some, like a little bit of aches and pains. So uh, didn't get as much sleep as I wanted last night, but uh, still feeling okay overall. Um, I did some activity. I still stay pretty active in the days leading up to the meet. I just don't really lift that much. Um, so went out, did quite a bit of walking, did some bike. Um, I tweaked my hip just a little bit yesterday during my light session, which is weird. I don't think it's going to be a problem on meet day. I, I think it was just a one-time thing. Um, so yeah, uh, body weight's on point. I was 203 this morning, and my scale is half pound heavier than the meat scale, so I'm actually under by about uh, a kilo and a half, so I'm in a good spot. Um, mentally, I feel good. Um, today, I was just spent like gathering a few supplies that I'll need for tomorrow, um, doing that activity, and then basically just relaxing and hanging out with my friend Mike, who's here. And uh, right now, I'm just reading a book, and uh, then I'm gonna go to dinner here in a little bit. So yeah, I'm uh, ready to do the dang thing. It's uh, It's been a pretty incredible journey. So just gonna relax and I'll put some more thoughts down later. All right, folks, it's meet day. I don't lift till 4 p.m. ish, um, but I got over eight hours of sleep last night. I feel great. Now it's time to check body weight, make sure it's on point. And then uh, I'm do a little walking, a little bit of activity, just to get some movement in, get my body feeling good, and then we'll rest up and be ready to rock. Now my scale is a half pound heavier than the meat scale. So that means I'm 3.3 pounds under, which is 1.5 kilos under, which is just below where I was targeting, which is fine. Got plenty of time to eat up since I don't compete till four. And I'm also gonna try and weigh in just a little bit light so that I can have the advantage on body weight because if it comes down to a tie, then I can win on body weight. And that is something to have in our back pocket because um, I will have the bigger deadlift uh, compared to the guys I'm competing against. So I can always put in a pull to tie and then win on body weight. So we are in a great position and I'm ready to rock. Let's do this. All right, just did a little activity, uh, weighed in. Again, body weight, completely on point. I feel amazing. Um, gonna go down and meet my friend Mike for breakfast. And uh, you know, sometimes I can ask like, what are the things you think about like the day of? And I just repeat a few phrases to myself, but this one's been sticking in my mind. For today, I only need to know two things. One, I've done everything I possibly can to prepare. And two, I will never, ever, ever quit. No matter what happens, I will stay in the fight. All right, it's almost time to go down and weigh in. Got about 30 minutes or so to the weigh in. Nerves are starting to kick in. That's okay, just been chilling out, watching some Stranger Things, and uh, just trying to mostly take my mind off of it. Um, just because once I flip the switch, it's going to be start draining that, that energy. So trying to, trying to just relax for now, but, um, it's starting to turn. I can feel the, the switch flipping. So, um, I'm excited to go finally do the dang thing.
All right, so I've been absent from recording these updates for a while now, but um, obviously finished one mission accomplished. And honestly, over the last 24 hours, I've just been really soaking in and enjoying it because it has been such a freaking journey to get back here. So um, I'm just like in love with the community. Is it something I miss so much about this was the people. There's such good people in the powerlifting community and I just enjoyed it so much. Like Gabriel was such a game competitor and he was such a nice guy. It was just so refreshing to have somebody to push against me and push me to take things to another level. It was awesome. So I'm just on cloud nine. I'm so grateful. I'm so happy. And just been like hanging out with all the other teams here at the hotel. It's been awesome. I have had a couple of beers, so my speech probably isn't the most coherent, but honestly, like I have just had the absolute best time and I just love this community and I'm so, so grateful to be back. And I appreciate all of you who have followed along. And um, as I said, I'm just, I'm just thrilled. Thank you guys. Hey guys, so I'm back home. I didn't get a chance to record all the videos I wanted to after the meet. Um, obviously, I'm incredibly happy with how things went. Um, you know, a few of the strategies that we, we talked about, <clears throat> one coming in at a lower body weight, that ended up playing a big role um, because I was able to basically tie and then win on body weight. And when you have the bigger deadlift, that's a huge advantage because one, you'll know exactly what you need to win and two, you'll just need to tie as opposed to lift a heavier weight. So basically for, for you guys who may have not understand how powerlifting works as well, um, I went three for three on squat, which was part of the game plan. We wanted to leave a little bit of squat in the tank. I think 601 on the third was the perfect call. Um, that was difficult, but I still had a little bit left in the tank. And so that left me in a really good position going into deadlift. He missed two of his squats, which obviously put us in a really good position again. And then on bench press, um, I think the weight cut actually took it a little bit out of me there. I couldn't get comfortable. I didn't feel like I was getting um, the cadence of press command that I was expecting. And so I missed my third. And, um, you know, that lost us five kilos right there. Um, so not a huge downside, but, um, you know, obviously uh, didn't want it to happen, but hey, um, but that made it fun going into deadlifts for sure um, because he missed his second bench and then hit his third, which is insane because bench is one of the most difficult lifts to grind. And the fact that he came back and hit his third after missing his second just shows what kind of a gamer uh, Garcia is. So... Uh, going into deadlifts, you know, um, I knew I had an advantage. I was 15 kilos behind, uh, 33 pounds behind, but I felt like um, that I could make that up in the deadlift. So we called for 633 to open up. Um, that went really well, uh, felt easy. Uh, he took, I think 606 is his opener. And so th by that point I was behind by 2.5 kilos. Uh, then I took 677 for a second attempt. And I believe he took, I wanna say he took 633 or 639 for his second. So my math's a little bit screwed up. And we both hit and now we were tied. So going into the third deadlift, I told Ben, if he misses his third, that means I will have won on body weight. And I felt like the world record deadlift was a stretch for me, but I thought maybe I could get it. So I said, if he misses his third, you know, we don't have a reason to, to take it. We might as well go for the world record, which is uh, currently 325 kilos. So we put in for uh, 325. So when he missed, he did indeed miss his third. Um, and so I had won already. And so we put in for the world record, 325.5. And it was just a little bit out of reach that day. I did get it a little bit started off the ground. I might have been able to get it further up. I don't know if I could have locked it out, if I was willing to break form a little bit more, but by that point, you know, mission accomplished, uh, did what I came to do to win the world championships. 
And so I just, I set it down and, and let it be happy. Uh, maybe that will be there for a different day. Um, but yeah, I, um, you know, just, it was such a amazing experience. I'm so incredibly grateful. I, um, you know, to, to have the opportunity to, you know, get back into a competition where we're going back and forth and you're pulling for the win. Like, there's just no feeling like that, at least for me. And, um, you know, especially with the stress I've had uh, the last few months, there's there's been a lot of things going on um, that have really made it difficult to focus. And especially this last week and being able to, you know, focus in and do that with all the things that have been uh, kind of swirling in the background. Um, I was I was very, um, I mean, quite frankly, I was very proud of myself for that. Um, and so I, I think it, it gave me even more confidence, you know, heading into the future with pretty much anything in my life. Uh, and one thing, you know, that, that Ben, who handled me uh, at the meet, my coach is Zach Robinson, but he wasn't able to make it to the meet because he's doing his PhD data collection. So uh, Ben came with me and Ben handled me at my last world championships in 2015. He's been a close friend for a long time. I trust him with my attempts very much. And, uh, you know, when we were setting out the game plan with Zach a couple days beforehand, you know, Ben said, I know if it comes down to it, we have the advantage because Lane is battle tested. And, um, you know, that's one of the nicest compliments I could get. So I'm not going to prattle on. Amazing experience. So grateful. Um, grateful all you who followed along. So many of you guys sent me messages. Uh, it was really incredible. And, um, you know, I'll be forever grateful for that. So thank you so much. And um, now it's time to get on to the next thing. And I'll just leave you with something that I, I post up a lot. And it's, um, you know, it was seven years to get back here. There was a lot of pain. There was a lot of, a lot of stuff. Um, there were times when I thought it wasn't going to be possible. And uh, I post this a lot. And I don't know if I read it somewhere or if I made it up, but it's come what may, no matter the pain, no matter the setbacks, no matter the tears, no matter the frustration, never quit. You are never out of the fight. And I wish that for all of you. Hope you guys have a great one.